Oh boy, I love Bayonetta. When I, when I play Bayonetta, I play, or when I play Smash 4, I play Bayonetta, Diddy, Mark. Alright, those are all very good characters. They did a beat Diddy slightly better than Mark. I don't know, Mark's pretty good. He is, but like, I mean, Diddy and Bayo are almost like low tier. Okay. I guess, I don't know, I have some qualms with Diddy. Like, he, he just continually, it seems to me, as an outsider, he just continually resets to neutral and, re like, proceeds to hit the same thing, unless, like, there's zero, in I which mean, case you get hard punishes. He, uh, his, his neutral is arguably probably the best in the game. Uh, he just yeah. dominates stage control really easily, but, what, but the one thing he lacks is the X factor, you know, the range factor. He doesn't, really, he doesn't get early kills, like, Bayonetta will get stupid early kills, yeah. Cloud will get stupid early kills. Most Mario will get stupid early kills, Mario CSS, skips. Like, I mean, I mean that's like that. the only thing Diddy lacks. And he, so, like, to play Diddy, I'm not, I'm not going to apologize for Diddy either. Like, his neutral is I'm overwhelmingly probably the best in the game. He consistently kills, like, better, at higher points than almost any character in the game, like, just like that. Yeah. But he does not have the X Factor, so I wouldn't play him. Because I don't like winning neutral ten times and then getting grabbed once and losing. Like, I, I, it's bad for my, my hope, okay? Speaking of which, Treeborn is, like, going ham right now doing great on Smash Up. Yeah, Treeborn comes to the Greenville weeklies on occasion, like right before our monthlies, and then proceeds wait, wait. to lose to Randy, <laughs> or Peep Knight. Oh, Peep is the uh, Mega Man player, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen some of him, he seems awesome. Mega Man is a character that's like, I, I, just, I know once I play, I'm probably going to lose because I don't know the matchup and it terrifies me. Yeah, if Randy wins, can I do the interview? You may do the, I mean, I'm not going to give a pitch because I don't do, I don't know anyone here, but I want you to do the interview. I don't know anyone here either, except Randy. And Nyx. And my other friend Derek. Dude, why is he still alive? I feel like Bayonetta should be killing him. I mean, yeah, you think so. Bayonetta has guns, but Diddy also has a gun. Dude, so. literally every time I play this game, I. It's not like I started when it. That's, this is the game that got me into Smash. And you went to Melee? Yeah. That's interesting. Well, they kept nerfing the characters I played. So. I mean, first of all, Diddy deserved to be nerfed at the beginning of the game. Marketing, All right, marketing. sure. Hypothetically, yes. Hypothetically, and then they, and then they nerfed, and then they nerfed oh. Sonic, and then they nerfed. All of which was. And then they nerfed Sheik, which is just. And then they nerfed Bayonetta. Let's just agree to disagree that they need to nerf things more and talk about it again. <laughs> I, mean, I think the, I think it's okay right now. Uh, we were just talking about how they're not dead. Both these characters were nerfed, and it were mentioned in my statement. Well, I, Bayonetta was undeniably like the best character, easily in the game. She was untouchable. She, her dive kick, you couldn't do right. anything about. Isn't it. she like? Did four throw kills with Bayonetta? Oh, yeah. I need to, I need to write that down. It was pretty bad. Yeah, I, think. Um, I bet they're going to go to Town and City. That's my guess. His hands mimic the motion of Bayonetta until it's taken to sleep. I'd imagine that motion looks kind of bizarre uh, to an outsider. But, I mean, I can tell if he laughs. He really goes in. His videos are a completely different level than the other ones was earlier. I told you, Town and City. I overheard that time about where they're going to get. It's a read. Not really. It's a reaction. Oh, okay. Like. So Luxray is like, isn't he the second best player in Tennessee? He's the be He's currently ranked number one in East Tennessee. We don't have a state PR because we're terrible at like visiting the West and the East. Okay. It's a really long state. That makes sense. But in East Tennessee, he is ranked number one, and he, he does he consistently does really well at all tournaments in the area. Yeah, this is my fault that uh, well, it's not my fault that he's not winning, but. It's my fault that Randy's here. I mean, I was I think, like, Randy, I'll drive you to this event. You let me stay in your hotel. Uh, that sounds like a good trade to me. Uh, Dude, this is dope. Uh, and I mean, him coming actually inspired a lot of other people to come. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that. Yeah, like, uh, so 13, he was like, I don't want to go. I don't know these people. I don't want to do anything. I was like, our thing's good. I was like, okay, let's go. Yeah. I want to fight this dude. He didn't pop the balloon, so. Oh, oh, oh never mind. Alright, Lux, so Lux has got my. Oh, he's getting destroyed. Never mind. Is he gonna destroy it? Oh no, one of the What is Sock guy coming? Oh, there's dude, he won Witch Time and he's back in, you know, like, freeze time, get it down. I thought he had one stock because of the. Oh, because the way it was blocking. Oh, yes. And it just happens to be the same color. Oh my god, he's four times. Six. So, Diddy pretty much can only kill off, like, Banana and Reeds. Down tilt. Well, no, not really. down tilt. I mean, down tilt's frame, like, like below frame, like, frame four, something like that. It's pretty safe on shield in space. Right. Banana, like, is unchallengeable by a lot of characters in the cast. 
he has he has the best kill setups in the game. That are right. the easiest kill setups. But the thing is, he needs them, doesn't he? Yeah. Like, there's I mean, nothing like, else. There's no other way. He, I mean, he I mean, has to just do that. Like, yeah. But you're putting me in a tough position because I'm not going to defend it too heavily because he's like he's okay, arguably but, like a top three character. Pretty right. Good. Yeah. But I mean, like obviously they're really good setups. If, that was yeah, the, yeah. That was the down tilt. Oh, like the net of down tilt up smash. I, I, oh, that's gross. It is. It yeah, is it's like it's guaranteed. Game. Yeah, it's a fantastic. Game. This is, they seem really evenly matched up. I mean, oh, yeah. We saw one two stock in game one, another two stock game two, other way completely. This is a really, I think, intense and fun uh, match to see. Uh, from what I know about all these characters and these two players, it seems like it's really about who wins neutral. And like Diddy obviously has the tools to win neutral, but Bayonetta has such strong punishes, and yeah. Treeborn has such strong punishes. Wait, which one's which? Uh, Treeborn is the Diddy Kong. Oh, right. Yeah. And Lustre has such strong punishes that it's like, who can make the most out of what they get? Yeah, definitely. Versus, well, Let's not who can witch time. Let's see how he follows up on that. Oh, so that was smart. He actually noticed there was an active hitbox when he witch time, so he waited for it before he tried to finish it. Dude, he just did the, uh, I love up tilting when, like, someone's trying to recover linearly. It's so much fun. Which time the banana? Dude, that was so funny. That is not something you see very often. <laughs> the Diddy Kong animation is just scary. So, does Banana and her smash attacks, do they have, like, a hitbox, windbox, or something? Okay, so her smash attacks are actually, like, her low points, but, like, you don't really need them. They, they have low priority. They're playing with a lot of other things. And they take a while, and they're very yeah. predictable. Like, they're not like good smash attacks. They're usually no, like, well, if you if you lose to a smash attack, you got red, you're in witch time, so there's not much you can do. Or, like, I don't know. Or you're trying to recover. Yeah, yeah. something like that. I mean, the down smash is great for two frames if you're good at timing. Right, but, like, and then the forward smash is just, like, a read on the recovery. Oh. Is that untackable? I don't know. I would have checked that. Yeah. That was a really good, uh. And he covered air dodge because he wanted to hit banana, but he also covered Ooh. it and did hit banana. So I noticed he waited for the air dodge, he just didn't get the patient. Oh, I don't. I think he pretty cool off that if he had to hit, hit the dash that I got So, does Diddy Kong have any kill throws? I mean, like, not like. Like a back throw, right? He does have like a traditional back throw, like a nasty thing. But his, his throws will kill if you like mess up the DI because he mixes you up, or a good back of the ledge might kill. But I'm not like I, I would consider them like super off. So you have, you have why don't people shield the banana? Does that not work? They can, but if they can hold uh, so it, I mean, and what? If, he, if you shield the banana, right? He, he's still in the advantage state. He has like options he can choose from. The banana is still active, which means it'll hit the ground, and if you run forward, you'll slip on it. Right, but you're in shield. Yeah, he might come up and grab you. Though. Like you shield the banana, he'll just yeah, come but, up and grab you. Yeah, but okay, so that, but that's why I asked about the kill throws. I mean, I guess it sets up for an edge guard, but if we know that like Diddy only has so many kills or kill setups, then like something like this can. Happen. It's just that they're not super avoidable. For the most part, but, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. I was just wondering. Um, he's gonna slip on the banana. No, he's not. What a god. Oh. Okay, that was good spacing. Oh! Did he just drop zone banana into an air? How is this monkey still alive? Yeah, yeah, I, read that roll, dude. I mentioned it earlier, I forgot the witch and how he waited for the hitboxes to disperse and how it was a really strong play. Yeah, it was just a good play for once. Uh, that was also a good play for once. He also, I mean, his his down, yeah, I don't know why I forgot to mention that for some reason. Didi's down throw can also kill. It, it leads into a 50-50. It does? Yeah. On so his, like, his throw is deadly because if he down throws at high percent, his uh, up air can kill you to a 50 50 if they air dodge. And uh, his, you know, down, he has, he has a galore of, like, kill options and a phenomenal neutral. But Bayonetta has witch time and Bayonetta stuff, so we'll see what happens. That was really awesome. He just ran a so He just kind of like yeah. ran up. Okay. And then he ran right into that banana. I think he might have wanted to grab it, but looking like, like it was Looking right. like a kid's cartoon out here slipping on my hands. Okay, that was bizarre, but he hit the uh, up here. Oh! That was a great conversion. Oh, I think he wanted to punish that, but he might have been scared because of the explosion. Get up attack. That was a great mix up. He's just laying on the pressure right now with his shield. Good job for Lux for not air dodging that. 
City has such incredible momentum, but Lux is really not going to play this safe. That might be dead. Oh, yeah, that's super dead. Yeah. Wait, yeah. is this Loser's Finals or Loser's Semis? I think it's Loser's Semis. Yeah, it's yeah, not Loser's Finals, because we just played. We yeah. just watched that. <laughs> I'm going out. So if Lux uh, wins this game, he'll win the set. Right. And he's looking really strong right now, as I say that. Yeah, we're back to an even game. But he just needs to win neutral one more time. We see yeah, we'll how hard of a fun it looks. All right. He only got 20% off that, which is kind of weak. Okay, he got a lot more that time. Good job reading the forward air. Uh, perfect shield. He's still going. Good there. That could be it. Just keeping him out. Nope. Okay. Good job on him for recovering for us all and not dropping out too low. Because, like, when Diddy drops out really low, Van Hitta can just make up and, like, just play outside of that. Okay, so he was jumping, so, like, if the uh, banana didn't trip him. This could be it. Oh! Okay, oh, that was a great dude. play. Looks like Treeborn leaves it. Those place. stilettos. That was hard. Yeah. <laughs> Lux really moves on to third. 